Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you found it beneficial. If so, consider helping me keeping the lights on. Any donation would be greatly appreciated. If not, a like and subscribe would make my day. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Uh, before I put my camera up, I just got through shooting a previous video. I'm about to um, live stream in a few minutes as soon as I finish this. I just wanted to um, show you something uh, I 3D printed um, a couple of weeks ago. I would say it's on a professional level for the um, creator, which is Edward Park from uh, Mountain Breeze, South Korea. Um, I'll put a link to it to the um, creations um, down in the description. It was these two matte boxes. I printed them out. They pretty much, like I said, on a professional level. I'm very thankful. If you like these, um, go ahead, head over there and um, download them and shoot him a little um, change on PayPal because these are phenomenal. Let me start with the one I like best, which is this one. I printed it um, with different uh, material. I tell you now, not all material is equal. This came out a lot better than the other one. This one's a little bit of a matte finish. This one's a little bit more shiny, as you can see. But I'll talk about this one in a minute. This one here is for single um, filter. Uh, did a little modification. I added this to the bottom so I could add it to my rig in front of my lens. Then I also um, printed an um, adapter for a couple different lenses that I have because I'm using a um, micro four thirds camera. You know, some of the lenses is very small. Then I use other um, lenses with an adapter that which are larger. This one here takes one filter. It has a uh, flag in the front. And this is how it looks. Came out very good. Let me uh, find the filter. I know it's over here somewhere. Oh, here it is. It's, it's single uh, filter use. Uh, you can use two sizes, the uh, four by four. And I think it's the uh, four by five point something. I'm not sure. But uh, you just uh, slide it in from the top. like this now you can uh, see the glass it covers the um, whole area unlike the other one but I'll talk more about that when I get through that one it's, I like it a lot this is the one I use most because usually I only use um, one filter at a time when I'm outside so I can shoot with my lens wide open so I can get that uh, bokeh very little bokeh but it's bokeh enough Okay, now, let's talk about this one. This one, uh, I really don't like the finish on it because um, it's really, really shiny and it takes away from the professional look that I'm looking for. A lot of people don't even know what this is, but they see you have a lot of shit on your wig. They're like, oh yeah, he know what he's doing. He can charge those bucks. But in a way, this one is uh, more functional than the other one more functional than what I need. It has a uh, retractable hood. Nice, uh, see, it's retractable. Pretty much from the front, it got the same uh, cinema um, block. And this one here, you can use up to three filters at once. It's, this one is just a four by four. Um, also, I uh, 3D printed an uh, adapter for different lenses that I'm using. Um, this one here, I, I had to print something special to go to bolt to here so I could uh, bolt it to my rig. I haven't used this one yet. Uh, what else I want to say about this? Oh, yes, let me show you uh, how you uh, load the filters. Uh, I didn't put the spring in because I don't have a spring. I don't really don't care about it popping up as long as it's open and I can put the filters in. Uh, right here, got a little hook. I got, hold on, let me get something. I got sh soft nails. But here, um, this pops up. You slide, in the you slide the filters in, up to three filters. And you close it, and that's hold the filters in. You can use up three filters. But uh, one thing I have noticed, let me uh, demonstrate with, with one of these filters. Give me a second. Here we go. 
I ain't got no um, 4x4 filters, but this will prove my point. Okay, say uh, you, put in the, you put the filter in. And you close the top. And you look here from the front. As you can notice, it doesn't totally cover the whole area. Light could get in on, on the sides. It shouldn't affect the lens, but I don't think it would have been better if it was wide enough to cover the whole area and look more professional. You know, but it's not really a big deal as long as it serves its purpose. Uh, I printed this one, in, as you see, I printed this one in two colors just because otherwise it's printed all black. So uh, if you have any questions or you want to know more, or you want me to talk more about my 3D printer, leave it down in the comments. I'd be glad to. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If so, subscribe, like, and share this video with anyone who could benefit. But if you feel that this video is not quite up to par, just like this video, leave a comment letting me know what I did wrong. I really would like to hear from you. Also, you can follow me on the social medias. The links are in the description.